the Torah tells us why this holiday of Sukkot, of Sukkot, was established. The man tisko that you should remember, ki v'sukkos ho shavti es b'nei Yisrael. And Chazal record a major controversy between two Tanoim. Rabbi Eliezer is of the opinion that it means Anani Akovat. Imagine the pillars of clouds that protected B'nai Yisrael in the wilderness, the harsh Midbar for 40 years. But Rabbi Akiva says that Sukkos Mamish. Now, Sukkos Mamish means like any people going through the desert would sleep under booths. They built Sukkos. So why would the holiday of Sukkos be established based on Sukkos Mamish? And the great Rosh Hashiva of Hebron Yeshiva here established many, many uh, decades ago, Rabbi Cheskel Sarno says the following, that our Emuna, our ancestors had such profound faith going through the Midbar, that they knew that God would protect them even in the flimsy Sukkos. And that was the Lechtech Acharai Ba Midbar, Bi Eretz Lo Acharai, we went after Hashem. We relied on Hashem. We believed in Him. We had faith in Him. And he points out that the difference between Rabbi Eliezer's approach to Sukkot and Rabbi Akiva's is so fundamental. Rabbi Akiva is not talking as Rabbi Eliezer about the Av of Hashem to Klal Yisrael, but on the contrary, the Av of Klal Yisrael to Hashem. Imagine an entire holiday established to commemorate the Ava of Klal Yisrael Takurish Baruch. He wrote on that Hashem will look down upon us from on high, see our Ava to Him as we go out in just a few hours here in Yushalayim to the Sukkot. And with the Ava that we have to Hashem, He in turn will protect us and inscribe us for a year of peace. We need it so badly. And we should see the protection of Hashem as we move very quickly forward towards the ultimate Ka'ula Shlema, Bimheravya Menu, Amen. Thank you and Chag Sameach.